This year saw the release of the Galaxy S10 and the Pixel 4. But to get some context about their performance, the performance for 2019, let's go back in time to look at how the Galaxy S8 performed against the Pixel 2. So if you're ready, let's go. Okay, we have the Galaxy S8, the Samsung Galaxy S8 from 2017 on the left hand side. It has the Snapdragon 835. We have the Pixel 2 from Google, also with the Snapdragon 835, also from 2017 on the right hand side. Of course, the Pixel 2 tends to come out. The Pixel line comes out about six months later than the uh, Galaxy S line. And so we've got a Snapdragon 835 versus a Snapdragon 835. Both devices are running in full HD, full HD plus, roughly the same amount of screen resolution. So this should be an interesting test to see who is able to come out on top. And already I can see a bit of a lead being built up there by the Pixel 2. It was the first into the JSON test. Of course, JSON is the JavaScript protocol, text based protocol. It's very important to see how well smartphones are able to parse those. So that test passes those. And as I said that, we're now into the compression test. The compression test zips up a whole bunch of files and unzips them and zips them up again to see which device can do that faster. And still the Pixel 2 is maintaining its lead over the Galaxy S8. Now, when we get to the GPU test a little later on, we're going to see how the Adreno GPU does. Again, we're having the same chipset in both devices. So really, this should be a fairly equal battle. And as we now go further into the test, we are into the 16th thread test and we can see the Pixel 2 there is is moving ahead quite nicely. It's going to hit the end of that test before the Galaxy S8, so it's maintaining its lead, hasn't stumbled so far. Uh, now we're into the uh, GPU CPU mix part of the test. Let's see whether the Galaxy S8 is able to catch up at all at this point. It looks like it's not at the moment. The Pixel 2 is still in the lead as it's just completing the blur test. Next will come up the infinite scrolling list test. Here it goes into that. Now the Galaxy S8 is still behind. Is it going to be able to dig deep? Is it going to be able to find anything in its resources? to come back and overtake the Pixel 2. We've seen it before on many other races. We've seen other devices come back from behind, even from 10, 20 seconds behind to overtake a different phone. But I don't think that's gonna be the case this time. Let's see what the frame rate is on the smoke particle test for the Pixel 2, 11 frames a second. We're gonna get the say a number coming up on the left-hand side in a moment, 11 frames a second. So equal there on the smoke particle test. Now remember, the smoke particle test is a 2D test which is very different to a 3D test. That's why I have both 2D and 3D tests. And talking of 3D tests, we are now into the Unity test. But look on the left, that's a black screen there for a long time. That was a long time, a blank screen there on the S8. That's going to hurt it badly. It was already behind by a few seconds and that pause there as it was loading up the app there is really going to take a toll. And look already, the uh, Pixel 2 is now into the Unreal test. It's going to make its way through the forest and now we can see the Galaxy S8 is turning right. It's going to the end of the valley and it will start the Unreal test. Of course, I'm using Unreal and Unity here to show that I'm using two different toolkits, two of the most popular platforms, so we can see how these devices perform across a whole range of variety. There we go. There's a time. Two minute 55.2 for the Pixel 2. And the clock is still ticking. We've gone over three minutes now as the Galaxy S8 moves its way through the forest on this Unreal test. What's it final time going to be? Come on, Galaxy S8. You can dig it. There we go. Three minutes 10.7. Okay, let's break down those times and see exactly what happened. So as we saw there, the Pixel 2 won with an overall time of 2 minutes, 55.2 seconds. And then some 15 seconds-ish later, uh, the Galaxy S8 came in 3 minutes, 10.7 seconds. So what happened when we look at the CPU times, it was a fairly close race, actually. 1 minute, 24.9 for the S8, 1 minute, 21.1 for the Pixel 2, but still a win for the Pixel 2. When we get to the mixed CPU, GPU, almost neck and neck, 45.9 versus 45.3, so a fraction of a second there. But when we get to the GPU, 59.8 seconds for the SA, almost one minute there, whereas it's only 48.6 seconds for the Pixel 2 XL. And so when you add up all those wins, it was actually a win for every single category for the Pixel 2. It came in first with two minutes, 55.2. My name is Gary Sims. I really hope you enjoyed this speed test G run. If you did, please consider giving this video a like and why not stick around by subscribing to the channel. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.